Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nail Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fish and Trips. Back for another vlog. Check it. Today, I am back at the Texas City Dyke, and no, I am not fishing the Texas City Dyke, but I am in Texas City. Um, I'm at the Moses Lake Reservoir. Now, this particular area has been shut down for like a month for construction. A subscriber put me down, say, hey, it's open again. It's hot right now. Go check it out. So I decided to come check it out. Now, before we get started, pop quiz. Real quick, pop quiz. How long does it take a black guy to catch 12? finger mullet with a cast net he does not know how to use go ahead pause the video comment below how long you think it took me to catch 12 mullet go ahead I'll wait oh yeah welcome back two hours two hours to catch 12 mullet never again am I doing that I'm just gonna go to the bait shop spend seven dollars to get a dozen and save two hours of my life and keep it moving lesson learned today Ugh. We're gonna have a good day. I promise you, we're gonna have a good day and catch some fish. Let's try to catch some flounder. Enjoy the vlog. Come on, let's go. Uh, all right, y'all, so came on the calmer side. Somebody cut the gate open, it looks like. And this is what we have. That's the reservoir over there. Current is super strong on the other side. Um, see, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly where to fish at. I do see some people down here. Definitely a lot of litter over here. Let's come around this corner, see what's popping. All right, so we got people fishing from the bank. Popping cork. A lot of rocks, so it has to be pretty super deep. So yeah, this is gonna be the area. Like I said, the channel runs there. I'll try this side first. If um, nothing's going good, then we'll take a look at the, the base side where the current is super strong. And we'll see if, he, if anything is here. See if anything is here. <laughs> the seagull is really trying to steal that popcorn. Please catch a bird. Please catch a bird for my vlog. All right, y'all. Come on, let's stop playing. Let's get to work. Catch some fish and try not to die. Now, that dude is gonna try to go through that reservoir with that super current, I'm pretty sure he's about to die. No way he's gonna be able to make it through that and survive. Now, unfortunately, y'all, um, I won't be able to save him because we both can't be dying. Someone has to be able to upload the video and tell the story. Oh, never mind, he stopped. Okay, never mind. Update. Yeah, two hours out there. I put two and a three, bro man from the fifth flow. Two hours out there, no fish. Um, the guy I met, he caught a nice black drum. Now there is a guy that's fishing on the other side of the bank um, or the reservoir. He has a kayak and he's catching. He's catching on a bobber with live shrimp. And I'm trying to figure out how to get over there. I looked at Google Maps and it looks like, it's like 14 miles just to get to the opposite side. And I'm not even sure once you get to that side, is there a gate to be able to get in? But I want to get on that side because remember my theory, the key to catching fish is find someone who's catching fish, go right next to them, cast right next to them, and catch their fish. It's my strategy. It works 100% of the times, 90% of the times. All right, y'all, so let's go. Let's go get some bait, figure out if we can get to the other side, and keep this vlog pushing. Let go. Come on, have faith. Have faith. No, no, no. Don't click off the video yet. I'm gonna get a fish for y'all, watch. All right, there we go. All right, so we got a pint of live shrimp to go with our eight live mullet. So I got about a pint and eight mullets to catch one damn fish. Somebody told me in my comments, you know, you might just wanna go to Fiesta and buy fish. Well, I gotta be so cruel to me. I have feelings. I'm a real person. All right, come on, let's go try to find this spot. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Now, I know what you're thinking. Rennell, what the hell are you doing on the Texas City bike? You said you hated hearing that you're never coming back. Okay, well that's before I realized that apparently now that, well starting on November 1st, the dike is free again to get on. Prior to that, you have to pay like $10 to get onto the dike. So I decided just to go take a little, you know, trip down five miles just to see what's popping, check out the scene, you know what I'm saying? Make a little lap around the club and see if there's anything worth casting out to or I'm trying out that other spot by Moses Lake on the other side, which is like 15 miles away that I'm not even sure if I can get to the other side. So yeah, I'm just gonna check out the dike real quick. I might cast a lot if I see anything popping. If not, we'll try the other spot. Do not judge me. Do not judge me. All right, y'all, so we gotta go 38 minutes, 17 miles. I'm at the end of the Texas City Dike right here. As you can see, there's 119 people over there. All right, so at the end of the dike, what I'm going to do is go all the way around and try to get to the other side of the Moses Reservoir. Now everybody was fishing on the right side on Beast Drive, right? But the kayaker was right there where the check mark is catching with live shrimp on a bobber. So I'm trying to see if I can be able to get to the other side. Don't know, never been, but we'll try it out. Let the journey begin. Let go! Okay, y'all see where it says, do not enter um, one way construction. That's where I was supposed to be going to go to the other spot at the Moses Reservoir. But as always, another obstacle has entered my path. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, you know there's an ongoing theme. The theme is, Wherever I want to go fish, it's close. Magic. Because you know why? You know why? Because God has a sense of humor and he finds it hilarious. Okay, look, hold on. Let me explain. Let me explain. In order to catch fish, I have to have fuel, okay? I have to have fuel. So this Whopper and this big fish sandwich is gonna give me enough fuel to catch the fish for the catch, clean, and cook later on in the vlog. The day's not over with. The vlog's not over with. We'll get there, we'll get there. Gotta be patient. Don't judge me. Alright y'all, I have arrived to the spot. I am in Bulliver at the First Street Bridge right off of the ferry. And we're gonna try out this little marsh area off the bridge. Looks like my man is on over here. What do you got? Huh? And um, yeah, he's definitely on. Come on, let's go try to catch up to him. See what he got y'all, I'm nosy. Remember my technique. Find out who's fishing, find out who's catching, then go right to their spot. Let's go see what he got. Is he stuck or is he on? Looks good. Whatever it is. Definitely looks good. He's a flounder, probably. We'll see. It's all good. Looks all good, probably. That is a don't know what it is. It's big. Stand deep. Oh, 
big red. That's a red, y'all. What's a pound? Oh, that's a nice red. Look at that fish. Get it, get it, get it. Ooh! It's nice. <laughs> that's some nice red. That fish. <laughs> Just in time. Definitely slot red. It's probably 30 inches. One more spot. We're gonna try one more spot before we call it a day and take it home. Um, this spot, you know, check this out, y'all. I mentioned it before. There's a guy who has a cardboard box with a motor on it. We call him the box man. He's a legend around here. He's catching more fish tonight. Okay, that one, that one hurt. But this, this one just crossed the line. There's a guy who has an empty Coca-Cola can with some string wrapped around it with a rock around it throwing the rock into the water with the hook and he's catching fish too so we're gonna try one more spot before I go home and call it call it a day one more spot I gotta catch some fish for y'all I gotta do a catch clean and cook fourth quarter let's get it <laughs> Right, so um you know earlier I was talking about catch clean and cook well there was no catch so there's no clean and there's no cook but I can tell you that there are fish at the um, Moses Lake Reserve um, River Dam whatever it is you just need a popping cork shrimp and a way to get on the other side okay um, apparently there's a flounder run going at the Texas City Dyke. The Texas City Dyke is also free before, no, it's not even free before nothing. It's just free now since this is November 1st. Before you have to pay 10, but now it's free. Um, apparently they're running at the end of the dike to the left on a jetty. Um, First Street off of Boulevard. Um, I saw the nice red. Um, didn't see no flounder. I saw some like, body catch like a stingray. And over here, there's nothing popping at the North Jetty. So that's my fishing report. That's the vlog. I know it's boring. I had high expectations for my catch, clean, and cook. So we'll just figure it out. See you on Freshwater Tuesday. Subscribe!